that perk is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> if not a bit OP. <laughs> Especially if you uh, combine it with some of the other stuff. Yeah, I've pushed my parkour up fairly high. Put the put the drawbridge down. Right spot now. Yay! So it's time to uh, work through and do all the railings. Those parts. I can't answer that question. I think it was because you were tired and went to bed. That is probably a very good reason. With all these workmen here, you'd think the floor should should be fixed by now. Well, maybe they're taking it. I think they're taking something. comment and added not to be but, uh, <laughs> very much work related yes I can understand that there's a way to like unupgrade something without breaking it Yay. I have to place these rails again. Yes, it was funny. I, after last night, you when you left, I went over to watch Ego's channel playing Minecraft, and I had to leave because it was just getting too crass. <laughs> yeah. Never considered myself very stodgy. It does come at a certain point. Content. Get it. Uh, yeah, for me it's all about context. You know, I've got no issue <laughs> if it's used in context. But if it just gets used over the top, it's like no entertainment for me. Right. Mainly because I grew up with those kind of people, you know, that would just use it as common language, you know. I did too. My family's exactly like that, but a lot of. One has put their bedroll on top of the bunker. Oh, that was me. Move it if you need to. No, no I just noticed it. That I thought it was a kind of the safest safest place out of the way for me. Uh, you know, it, it probably is. I can't argue with that. <laughs> Unless, of course, everything falls down. But we're talking, taking that to be the last thing that'll possibly happen. Wow, that, that expresses a lot of confidence in me that I didn't know that you had. <laughs> confidence that I'm not sure I have. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. That's really annoying. 
I think I mean it more likely that I'll break something and it'll all fall down. <laughs> Possibly. So, uh, with the drawbridge there, I, uh, I still gonna have trouble placing stuff. Oh no. Um, you know, like these, some of these posts, they're actually on the outside of the block. Oh. And oh, yeah, I'm a bunch of it. So, yeah. I'm gonna have to place them very carefully. Look like I'm not space. Wish that you could, like, open the door and jump up there. Not right in the time now. Damn these zombies, they're not giving my arrows back. Yeah, they're kind of greedy like that. Do you have any luck uh, finding more mechanical? Mechanical parts. Uh, to be honest, this is the first time I've come back since um, you left. Fair enough. But once I finish this, I'll raid some cars on the way back. Yeah, I know it's no big deal. Thinking I do want to get that second drawbridge out of the way, but I'm not in a hurry to make it. A uh, couple of tasks that I'd like to accomplish beforehand. Yeah. Walkway. Yep. Stopped. I did put a point into my um, salvaging hook. Cool. Just to see if I can get a few more mechanical, not yeah, me uh, mechanical parts, isn't it? Yeah, it's mechanical. After. The blue. I believe I'm working my way through my fourth stack of wood. Nice. Quite a lot of it, actually. How are we going with it? Oh, I, I think we still have ridiculous quantities left. I think we're going to run out. I kind of didn't bother planting anymore. <laughs> No, and we can always plant some, and it grows fast enough that it's not like, yeah, really worried about it. And I always go steal some back from Go and Brave too. True, we could always just go and chop their trees down. So we're lag busting. Exactly, helping the server. See you hiding up there. Not sure how the hell you got up there. But... Sometimes magic. The best I can do, I throw my imagination into it to think that they got chased and bitten by a zombie and climbed up on top of the um, 
like air conditioning ducts and stuff and then laid down to die and then woke up as a zombie. At least that's what I choose to believe. Fair enough. I think it's bad coffee. The whole infection. The entire thing, it's all about bad coffee. GMO coffee? Um, you know, I, I'm not really as the whole anti-GMO thing. I'm really more anti- Oh, me neither. <laughs> I'm, I'm more anti-monoculture. Yes. I, mean, I would have to agree. GMO is fine. We do actually improve a couple of things. Um, but it's the only thing that, like, everybody is growing and something does take after it and everybody stops. Yep. Ah. And that's it. Yes, considering we've been um, GMOing for, for centuries. Yeah, I mean, we've modified Even it. Even before we knew forever. about it. Yeah. Yeah, let's do a bit of crossbreeding. Yep. But I mean, look at the potato famine. Yep. That was their entire Far crop deadly. forever. But yeah, that's, that's really my big... I do yep. believe that it's it it is difficult to understand you know the full effects of something. So laboratory stuff is going to perhaps have more unforeseen consequences than something that you've been breeding out in the world for often. And then there was always that yeah. weird stuff with uh, importing a crop somewhere. Making rabbits oh, yeah. to Australia. It's a terrible idea, but I mean, they thought it was going to be great. Cane toads, even worse. Yeah. Let's bring cane toads over to eat the bugs that we brought over. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean. What could go wrong? Yeah, importing a new crop is always kind of risky. You know, I definitely understand where some re regions are like, you know, we don't have anything to eat, we'll take whatever. Oh, but yeah. But besides that, I don't particularly care one way or another. Um, I do agree also that changing a crop so that it's more resistant to things that are unfortunate to humans, humans use more of them, is probably also a bad choice. Yes. That doesn't mean that everything is a bad choice. Something. Like how the fences are adjusting themselves automatically to where they need. Other blocks. That's nice of them. I wish the other blocks did that. I turned a corner and it turned with me so that the orientation stayed correct to the replacement rather than staying with where I'd put it. Just wish that I could do corners without making them look horribly ridiculous. <laughs> That's the swimming pool I'm getting there.
Yeah, I think the only way to do corners is to have them on the outside. Be obnoxious. That's where I need the posts to be. I my, could just my. Why did they have to be a gymnasium? I hate gymnasiums. <laughs> I don't I think that the people who coded seven days to die and did a lot of the POIs like definite nerds against the whole gymnasium thing because <laughs> every gymnasium that you go to in this game is a traumatic experience. Yep. <laughs> All of them. I definitely need to get the second stairwell going. I'm tired of running all the way across the base. Spiders are such drama queens. They are, aren't they?
head. <laughs> One more out. thought I've just collapsed the entire roof. <laughs> Thank goodness for that. Yeah. Not sure. So has to be Uh, this room. I ain't gonna fall for that trap. At least not at this moment. No. Later. Later. I'll fall for it on the way out the door. Yep. When I forget. Always when I fall for it. Killed all the zombies. I don't Again. see one. Oh, nope, it's not a vulture. It is a board, though. Anything exciting in it, or just a little quiet wandering? Um, there's a, the high percentage of random naked people. Yeah. Oh, there's a there's a biker. Actually, got a fairly good vantage to, uh, to kill them here. Widen the walkway? Or no, no, it's always been. No. Yeah, like, standing on this roof is ridiculous. 
ridiculously great as far as shooting. They blew up the car. I don't know if uh, it'll regrow once the zombies blow it up. Yeah, that's interesting. I have to admit, I don't want to care to go loot the bodies. I haven't looted them for ages. Not since I got all of the um, rotten flesh that we needed. They don't provide that much additional. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of a nice idea. Bothered by it, I guess. It's, it's alright for early game when you first sort of needing those resources. Yeah. see this from the bottom. For some reason I can't realize it. That needs I have. <laughs> I forgot. Oh, keep forgetting. Join us. Join us. Gravity is totally a thing. Only in only in one direction at the moment. Large center of gravity in your construct that's forced upon us. Yes, An arbitrary sort of construct. My arrow. Where well, arrows for you? I'm down to. I've started at 150, and I'm down to 71. I do. Are you gonna gonna eventually move on to just knifing people? <laughs> well, actually, I had moved on to axing them. <laughs> uh, I, I ask them questions all the time. I don't even know if that works with slashing. I don't know how it can damage for that. Um, I don't know, but any standard zombie or um, even a feral that's um, 
non-radiated, I can usually, if I hit him in the head, I can take him out one hit. Well, there's that whole uh, knifing stealth tree that if they're sleeping, get up to like seven or eight times damage with knife. Yep. And the machete already does like 70 or 80 points. Could just be able to one-shot any in the full radiated whatever if it's sleeping. I can't. Which? That's right. Maybe that's right. Laugh if I get down there and run off still. Of course, um, now that we've finally found enough coffee seeds to fill the farm, I found the recipe. Of course. That is, that is tradition. I mean, you knew that was the only way that you were going to find it. It Add is. All the hmm. Although we're still one short. Oh, oh, damn. Oh, what's that theory going out the window? Although I am... Oh, I thought I had one sitting around. But you know, if you were convinced that you, you had them all, um, then... And of course, that would be enough. True. Damn, I'm just not going to quite have enough time to finish this in before nightfall. Yeah, but it shouldn't matter just, too much. It's not like a horde. Oh, no, no, no. It was just interesting to see if I could get through it. So, Because I, I started it at dawn. Literally, oh, walk through the door at dawn. How fast it would go. Yep. And I'm... I think I've got two levels to go. I'm in the... I'm in the room that, um, kills you. There were a number of them. The right? suicide zombie room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With the landmines. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I was uh -oh. awful. Uh, Don't walk past sleeping zombies when the night falls. I 
I was really hoping that I lined everything up. I did not. I need to get my bot to be more responsive as far as like like that. Point I'm gonna have a have a good sit down and motivated I am to work. <laughs> Guess it's only lines. Button push. Admiring the purple traffic going on with the events nearby. Oh, whatever. Yeah, I can see it on your stream. <laughs> Fascinating effect. Whereas I'm getting a similar thing with the light coming through the bulletproof glass, the one with the grid pattern. Yeah. So I'm getting like a, a um, snow effect on the walls. Don't suffer from epilepsy. <laughs> um, well, I don't think so. Probably. Relatives, no. Distinct possibility is it doesn't tend to run in my family. Got it from parts of the family that I am not related to. Like me. Yeah. Oh, bad fish. Yeah. not the best. Well, there's plenty in the ammo chest. Yeah, but that would involve going to go get it.
So should I do the uh, the tower thing on all four corners, or just kind of like not worry about it? Um. Well, I did kind of like it, but all right, then I'll do it because it it kind of has yeah, it adds that little bit of difference in the corners. Will you be able to do it where the garden is? Uh, maybe. Because the pole has to go on the outside or something, you said to me. It might not work. Garden is further up. Yeah, so maybe not. Garden. You know, this is the most I've like ever moved and moved things again any base that I've worked on <laughs> typically even if it turns out to be super inconvenient I don't rebuild anything I just kind of like build around whatever it is and then move on <laughs> Go. Yep. <gasps> Crap. Oh. Yeah, I just saw your hit points drop like crazy. Oh, I thought I got them all in this one room that's full of landmines and zombies. I was up on the air conditioning duct, shot them all that I could see, and then hopped down and was walking through, and one just wandered straight up beside me. Whoops. And set off a landmine right next to me. <laughs> and I lived. <laughs> That's that's impressive actually, because landmines are yeah. very hardcore. Yes. Oh. Well, right. should I say my character lived? I'm not sure about my physical body, because <laughs> I'm about that heart attack. <laughs> Don't do that. No. If any of my uh, <laughs> friends have not, not done well in that area. Yep, certainly got my adrenaline moving. Like an Italian tune-up for your heart. 
Oh, I didn't think you could get any higher than four. I'm getting four and a half times um, sneak damage now. Oh, yeah. You can get all the way up to, like I said, about uh, eight and a half or something like that. Oh, okay. An idiot. I just... I finished breaking oh. the cement blocks, so guess yep. what I did? I put replacements down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but they're a different color. Yeah, they're wet. At least they're they're faster to break down before they dry. Yeah. Corn. stuff up all down again I have to find my shovel okay, there's enough XP in the Dishon tower to take me up another level I haven't quite finished it yet Yeah, I found that I would reliably level when I hit it. Top right. Well, I guess I'm making another farm plot. Uh, no, have a look in the farm chest. Oh, we have a couple. Oh, there's. I think there's a whole stack in there. Bench schematic. I wonder if I should bring that one home, considering there's like two stacks worth almost in the chests. <laughs> Are there? Might as well yeah. Grab that 50 XP. Never know when that's going to make a difference in life.
I have to remove. that gives us the I have fallen off the... Oh. 
Oh, I really need to get that second drawbridge going, just so I don't have to keep walking around. Centered posts coming out on the edge to support the exit. Don't want an escalator made it to the roof. It's a it's a fairly big building. If you're not gonna rush through it, take a minute. 
have unlimited ammo. Like we went through and we were pretty much just blowing ammo. Like, Yay. We went through it pretty quick. Honestly, if we if I hadn't kept running into zombies that were very excited about uh um you know helping me find landmines, we probably would have gone through <laughs> Yeah. And I mean I'm we had turrets that were just summoning the zombies to them. Whereas right. I'm just going through this very carefully shooting one zombie at a time. Different methodologies. You know, now that I know what I'm doing, this builds a lot faster. Close though. Sometimes the hardest part is just being able to point it into the right spot. Doesn't, uh... Oh, I think that... That's, that's half the challenge, is to be able to find the right spot to point things.
Hmm. Shot the zombie, took the crossbow bolt out of him and walked away, and he got up. <laughs> yeah, you gotta watch that. Sometimes, uh, sometimes if we don't leave the stakes in. Yeah. So I learned an interesting thing when I was building these towers the first time. Mm -hmm. uh, don't fall into the middle, as you can't get out without breaking oh. everything. Uh, quite exciting to discover. Well, that one's done. Yeah, it does look good. I've definitely gotten better at uh, being some together. Copy rotation invented by the gods favor us. Yeah. <gasps> Great Heist Volume 1. I think that's the one I'm missing. Nice. That be all the books. Yes, I now have all of them. You are victorious. Yes. I've never been as victorious as this before. Well, you are the one with a, a level six steel pick, aren't you? Oh yeah. So that's that's pretty victorious. Right. I've noticed an interesting thing. Um, so if I upgrade the stairs, they go from regular wood to kind of like aged looking wood. But if I upgrade the, the railings, they go from regular wood to steel. Right. I guess they felt that would be the natural progression that you would want to take them. But, yeah. I mean, I guess I could just paint them.
Uh, I'm actually going to need a whole bunch more of... Um, the base is 40. That's 300 because a lot of them. I think you know, so I'm not feeling sick. Right, but who's really the professional? No, I wasn't hoping she wasn't going to take my temperature without washing her hands first. Very concerned with your health. Some people are moved a great deal of fervor by their jobs. Oh, hello. See you hiding behind. And the bench turned into a robot. Sorry. Oh, good. Might just be my bandwidth. Yeah. Right. Could be one of those uh, engine zombies. Not helping you. Was it the those ISP kept telling him? Wi-Fi. Yep. Actually expect that to go as easily as it did.
Yeah, only four crossbow bolts left. You're going to have to start lining up. I uh, make you some more. Okay. Uh, I probably would need to. I just think I did open the last pack. But don't fret on it. I fortunately can make them as well. I think I did make extra tips, I just haven't constructed them. Say in some ways this is more finicky than Minecraft as far as placement. Yeah. Well, Minecraft it's square. That's about it. I mean it does have the advantage out of Minecraft is you can place a block without actually looking at the side. Yeah. And the fact that you can orient orientate stuff better. So while I four. over in it, check the count. Four minutes on site. Yep, that's it. Run out of bolts. I'm in the bullets now. Bullets? That one's nice. I know. They're the old lead. They could have had nice shiny steel, but no. Nope. looking position. good idea, but I have been contemplating the concept of 
making a so we have this outer walkway that I'm currently doing and I thought about going through and checking which pillars go all the way down and making another yep. higher raised platform uh, with yet another walkway but uh in. I'm saying nothing. Same. Other than other than these zombies won't give my bullets back either. Nope. Uh, they're even more stingy about the bullets too. Trying to think to myself, you know, is the distance also height related? So if I if I were to do that and we were high enough up, uh, would we have trouble with zombies spawning below us? Yes, that would be good question. Although if I make the place a big enough kind of like maze for us to run around in circles, then it wouldn't matter really. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the human? I can't find them. I don't want them to, like, actually attack any. That's... They get frustrated, they just start chewing on random stuff. Yep. That's never good because they get drooled everywhere. Yeah, the fur is bad enough. Go slime and the zombie drool and. Hey, it's it's loose right. skin everywhere. Has to be. Only unfamiliar name. I think all the, the bots that are just kind of like floating around. About why they just like. Yeah. I got one on my shoes. What? Go slime? No, hey, brains. Oh, it's so late. I need to go to bed, but I want to finish this first. Yeah, it's getting close for me too. Don't have time to wanted to come on and actually get some stuff accomplished. <laughs> I just wanted to do the one quest, which I finished. <laughs> Trying to earn the uh, extra perk points. Oh, yep, extra experience points. I'm nearly um, halfway to another level again. Nice. So, well, and of course, the more quests you get, the more perks you get. Well, I haven't got the... Oh, no, I would have got the points for the quest because it gives you that as soon as you resolve it, don't, before you even go back to the trader. I think it does, yeah.
that's just not fair. Putting a vulture right at the top of a ladder. That is a really annoying place for him. In which I haven't seen any vultures today. That's Yo. Yeah. He exploded. Floor below the roof. Yeah, I was thinking kind of like a pagoda style layered effect. As far as the. But to be quite frank, I'm not sure how much. how much height we could actually get out of some of this. I don't want to have to like upgrade everything to steel and then repaint it. Yeah. I mean, it could be done. Very time, time consuming. I, I like the idea that we kind of have a, a semi wooden port here. What I would like to have done, but we can't do anymore. In A16, there were actually um, uh, pointed spikes. 
Or, oh yeah, I remember them. Yep. Yeah. Top of, you know, poles. Yeah, they were they were as big around as the logs, really. Um, like a, a cone, back cone. And I thought about making this look like a, an old log fort, but I would I would have wanted the uh, the pointed spikes on the top instead of rounded. Yep. Um. That uh, sadly is not working out. I could fall off. That's always. <laughs> Um... on the bar and
That would be my water bottle. Sounds like. Hmm. All right, keep your fluids up while you're mining into a hardened chest. Yep, hydration's important. Very important. Definitely getting way too good at this. Mm -hmm. I remember how long the first one took me to build. Uh, taking really so long. You know, except for the physical labor involved, I think it's actually easier to build these in real life. Yeah. Why they don't provide you with a way out of the, the loot room in the Deshaun Tower? I have no idea. Uh, I mean, hack your way out through the door, I think. Yeah, I can, but it's kind of. Usually there's always an exit. 
Maybe there is, and we just haven't found it. Yeah, I've looked right through. Can't see me. Unless it's hidden, maybe you can go through the floor or something. I guess we did look pretty thoroughly when we were in there. Yeah. Right. Accomplished. I mean, I guess I could just stack up back out the hole in the ceiling, but... Seems, uh, kind of cheap somehow. Yeah. Thousand rotations later. It's interesting, a wandering soldier horde. Four. Five soldiers and one ordinary zombie. They're trying to farm XP. Yeah. Um, probably a, oh, a bit over, a bit less than a quarter away from another level. So that was just from the tower. So one and three quarter levels.
32 mechanical parts should be enough for you. Yep, that will just get us into our bridge. There's a nice horde of cars here. I might break these ones down as well. Just short. Basically gone through nearly another full stack of wood. Yeah. <sighs> minutes of crafting. I'm going to step away for a minute and get some more milk. No, it looks like I was wrong. You do get experience points when you get back to the trader.
Welcome back. Christ. You might have missed me saying I did get experience points when I got back to the trader. Okay. But I did. That to the right one. Because I thought the trader gives you stuff as well, so. So that should that right. Oh. Gotta hit the right buttons and that will help. Except for the uh, except for the wood posts along the outsides with the sharp points on the top, this is very uh, west. Right. I've actually seen quite a number of those ports. I just need to finish this final uh final run. Yep, I'm just flipping away and then I'm heading to bed. It's, it's, it's half yep. past midnight. Hey Shadow. Well beyond my beauty sleep. Hey Shadow. 
also quite a bit of beauty at this point. But your mechanical parts are there. I'm gonna put away later. Fair enough. Yeah. I'm gonna pick up the four posts. This I am probably also gonna call it. In about two hours. Yep. About an hour more than I actually intended to be out on. Uh, yeah, same. <laughs> In fact, it's nearly three for me. I'm going to play for an hour. Foolish me. Uh, there's probably more quest books in there, for, uh, more um, recipe books and things in there for you too. Well, I'm sure that they'll be in there next time I'm in. One piece of fence that I want to do. I want to do something. Thank you. Like Have paralysis. a good. Sorry. Yeah. Yep. Good hanging out with you. We'll okay. definitely try to catch you next time. Thanks, Cal. See you next time. Bye. Bye. And for everybody else watching in uh, land and uh, Twitch, thanks for coming on. We'll uh, catch you for later. I can find the button.